Okay, um, I have two questions for you. Uh, earlier you brought an elephant into the room, and I like to address elephants. So um, you said that there is going to be new missions in June. Um, what missions are these? <laughs> I said that that was very possible. Okay. All right. And I don't know. I, I don't think know you're not sure to that. I can honestly say to you, I don't know. Okay. Where they will be. Okay. I'll have to wait for a response. You just know they're going to be there? Okay. So my other question is uh, there are many people we come across, less actives and uh, investigators, even members and missionaries alike, who have struggles with doctrine of the church because of things they find in church history, um, lack of physical reputable proof of the Book of Mormon, the translation process, etc. And um, besides saying pray about it, uh, what would be the best way to address these concerns? And are there resources provided by the church to help resolve these concerns or at least provide clarification? Very good. So first let me ask you, how do you answer that when you can sell the Um, I do the best I can with what I know. And okay. I'd, I'd like to know if there's resources. Good. There. there are. So, you all know about this one. It's not, it's not necessarily new, but it's there. And gospel topics, at every, about every month they're adding new things <coughs> So there's, there's one clearly on the Book of Mormon that answers your question. There's mm -hmm. one on the first vision. Why are there so many accounts of the first vision? Um, almost every question that people are asking you about past history of the church, you can find the answer on the gospel topics. Are you familiar with that? I am. Did you know that was there? Mm -hmm. um, so let me, let me just say something that I think is important for all of you to know. Um, some people, and, and you, they may be your friends, or maybe you have the same question, some people will say, um, that's part of the church history that I've never heard before. I've been a member my whole life, why have I never heard that? Yeah. Okay? And so, I, you know what I always say to them? I say to them, where have you been looking? Because if you're truly a historian, the Joseph Smith papers have been available for years and years and years. And you could have read everything you're concerned about if you really wanted to know. The church hasn't been them. They're, they're available to everyone. Mm -hmm. But I would say to you that the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve and the Seventy like me, we are so busy hastening the work of the Lord and trying to move the work forward that we don't spend all of our time trying to figure out why Joseph Smith did this or why he did that. Okay. Um, because people are concerned about it, we began to publish gospel topics. But the fact that you didn't know about this when you were growing up in the church only tells me that you had not looked. Mm -hmm. Because it's been available for 50 years, 100 years. Okay. Um, the Joseph Smith papers that we, the church ourselves published, has everything in it that anyone's concerned about. So if anyone ever tells you the church is hiding this, she's going to say, no, and these guys that are on the internet that are putting this, they found it in the stuff we put on, we made it. The church hasn't been hiding anything. We just don't, we're, we're not going to spend all of our time because, frankly, with moving the gospel of Jesus Christ forward is, is a full-time job times a billion. I'd imagine. We are so busy moving the work forward and baptizing hundreds of thousands of people on trying to assimilate them into the gospel of Jesus Christ, that we're not down in our underwear in the basement on the internet trying to figure out whether Joseph Smith, how many wives he had, okay? And unfortunately, I, I say that because I'm not trying to make fun of them, but I am frustrated many times by that. I just want to say, why don't you go out and help us? Mm -hmm. Why don't you go help us do what we're doing? Okay. And it's surprising to me that people think that the very person who received the revelation in Doctrine and Covenants 132 on plural marriage, that they're somehow surprised that Joseph Smith was sealed to other women. Mm -hmm. He didn't ever live with them, but they were, he was sealed to them. There's no evidence that he ever had any children. He didn't have any children, but he was sealed to other women. 
And it's been, people have known that since 1837. We don't publish that. We don't, we don't make a big issue of it. We don't even talk about Brigham Young very much, even though we had many others. Mm -hmm. We're not hiding it. You can read it for yourself. But we're moving forward with the gospel. And so, I, is that helpful at all? Yeah. Tell me more. What, what else would you like to know? Um, I mean, there's there's that there's the whole his um, the whole history, yeah. and then there's also the you have like the progressivists who are have this idea of progressive Mormonism that are pushing it in a different direction. You know, um, I've met people that are like that, mm -hmm. and I was just curious about your thoughts. No, I <clears throat> so. I, I would just say that, that we'll always be safe when we keep our eye on the prophets and the apostles. Um, whatever the Lord wants to reveal to his church, it will come through them. And many people, in fact, this is to me one of the most frustrating things I hear. They say, well, President Monson is so old and Elder Nelson is 90 and Elder Packard is 98. These are just a bunch of old men that don't know what's going on anymore. Mm -hmm. And I would say to you that I don't know anybody who knows more about what's going on in the world than those men. They, they are briefed every single day on international affairs, what's happening in the Middle East. So am I as a general leader. I, I receive updates every day about what's happening all around the world in conflicts that are going on. They get a report from every area of presidency in, China, in, in Hong Kong, in the Philippines, in Asia, in in New Zealand, all around the world, they get those almost every week. Mm -hmm. They know what's going on in the world better than President Obama. Because we have people on the ground like you. In every country that, that's in the world, we have missionaries that are in people's homes every single day. Our mission presidents know what's going on in the ground in Pakistan. Do you know we have a mission in Pakistan? I'm not. So she knows I met a sister missionary who is from Islamabad. Mm -hmm. And she was there when Osama bin Laden's house got blown up. When the helicopter came in, she saw that happen. Wow. She's a missionary. We have a mission in Pakistan. Our mission president in Pakistan knows better than anybody what's going on in Pakistan. Does that make sense? That does. We know what's going on in India. Um, missionaries, one of, my, one of my pet peeves about people who criticize our church is they say Mormons don't know anything about what's going on in the world. They're just so close-minded. And I want to say to them, you know these Roseville missionaries go out every single day. They're in people's homes all day, every day. They've seen things that you have no idea about. All you do is get up and go to work every day and come home. They're in the homes of everybody that's ever existed. All day, every day, our missionaries around the world, those 89,000, are in everybody's home. There is nobody who gets it better than we can. Don't you get what's going on in the world? You see what drug addiction does to people? Oh yeah. You see what you see what marriage out of our children out of wedlock does to people? Yeah. You get it, you see it every day, don't you? Mm -hmm. You know it better than anybody. Mormons get it better than anybody. We just know what a straight and narrow path looks like. And we don't want to live that life we've seen. Yeah. And so I would just say to you, follow the prophet. He knows the way. Have you ever heard that song? I have. <laughs> And I will always keep my, I don't trust anybody in this world more than I trust the first presidency in the club. I used to admire them from afar, and now that I work with them all the time, mm -hmm. they're better than I thought. And I always keep my eye on them. And I, as you can tell, I get a little frustrated yeah. when people <laughs> criticize the church because I just say, you don't even know what you're talking about. You want to see close-minded people go out with these missionaries in Roseville Mission every day and see they, they're out in the world. They're the ones who get it. You're the one who doesn't get it. Missionaries know. Don't you know what's going on in the world? You get what's happening in people's houses. You know what's going on. So I hope that that's helpful. Okay. Any other issues on the history that I didn't address? Not specifically, no. Okay. Yeah. Some of those at the end are there, but can I just say to you, mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't matter. So let me give you, let me just say one other thing. 
I have not lived a perfect life, okay? And there are some things in my history that I, I'm not going to tell you about because I feel bad about it. Yeah. And it may be that someday you're going to meet somebody who knows correctly of something. I used to be a lawyer for 30 years, and they're going to tell you he was really mean to me in court. He had me on the witness stand, and he was really mean to me. Mm -hmm. And if you lose your testimony over that, I'm going to be just. Yeah. Because um, someone could write a history about me that you would think was not very good. Because I was doing my very best, but I, I'm sorry that I did that. I feel bad that happened to them. Mm -hmm. But I hope that doesn't affect your testimony. Okay. Joseph Smith, he did some things that I'm sure he's sorry about. He's, he's the one that admits it. Right in the beginning of his history, he tells us, I, I've done some things in my life that I'm not. I, I wish I hadn't done some of those things. He tell, he's the one that tells us that. And, and yet, people think, well, I'm not going to believe in that church if Joseph Smith is down. Okay. Thank you for that example. That was a good example. Okay. We'll go to Elder Ah. 